Welcome to my channel. I'm John Griffith. Welcome back for those of you who've checked my videos out before. So I'm out here doing a beach cleanup on Moonstone Beach and we wanted to get this big net off the beach. And so it's, you can see the background, it's a lot smaller than it was a couple weeks ago thanks to volunteers from our community, humble community, thank you very much. You don't have to live on the beach to help do a beach cleanup. Or even if you live in the middle of the United States and you throw stuff into the river and it gets into the Mississippi River, it's eventually going to end up on the beach. So you don't have to live on the beach or near the beach or near the coast to do a beach cleanup. You can do a beach cleanup from Iowa, okay? You can do a beach cleanup from South Dakota. So one of the important things you can do as a consumer, and yes, we're often considered just consumers, but you're people, I know you're people. And you can vote with your dollar. You can vote for treating the earth better with your dollar. There might be product that's a few cents or a few dollars more that's better for the environment and you don't want to really pay the few dollars more because, because you're broke. And when you can buy something environmentally conscious, buy it because you are voting with your dollars. So when a company sees that you're not buying the product that's bad for the environment, then they stop producing that, they stop making that product. And remember, just because you don't see the six pack ring or the grocery bag, the plastic, one time use plastic grocery bag, or the nets or, or the whatever, just because you don't see that anymore because you throw it away, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist anymore. It still exists even though you don't see it. And, and you know, you could look up all the trash islands that are in the oceans and the gyres where the water swirling in the ocean and there's huge um, trash islands as big as Texas. Notice everything is always, it was really big, it's as big as Texas. Just keep in mind, there's no, there's no such thing as a way. When you throw it away, no, you can put a name to that. And there's seven billion humans on the planet now and growing. And we're using one-time use plastics. Plastics can only be used one time, like coffee lids and plastic bags in a grocery store. We're using them more and more a day, okay? And most of those are, are not recyclable. They don't get recycled. We say they're recyclable, but do they really get recycled? Um, most of it is just going into the ocean, into our landfill. Um, I'm gonna leave some links in the box, in the description box, about beach cleanups, about plastic, um, about groups that are working to control marine debris, that's plastics and ropes and stuff like that that get in the ocean. And you can do your little things too. You can make sure that your plastic goes in the trash and not the river and not the ocean. You can make sure you clean up your fishing line after you get done fishing. That'd be very helpful because it wraps around birds' legs and stuff and they suffer, cause a lot of suffering. Just because you can't see the fishing line anymore doesn't mean it stopped existing. It kept being fishing line after you left. And you can support groups financially or with your time that are doing stuff to keep our oceans clean and trying to keep the planet clean and trying to keep everything good for the people who come after us, those, those neighbors in time that we love, like our kids and grandkids, that we want them to live in a prosperous and sustainable planet too, right? Right. <laughs>